It's not every day that you get to become a hologram, but for the developers at Evercoast, it's all in a day's work. Every single one of these sensors is calibrated and finding every single point in 3D space in real time, and we're reconstructing that into a single point cloud. The spatial computing startup is one of several that call the Verizon 5G lab in New York City home. Here, members can take advantage of a next-generation wireless network that's largely unavailable to consumers. You have to get beyond the theoretical, right? You really have to roll up your sleeves and use real 5G uh, with really fat bandwidth and go build solutions. And so that's basically the main purpose of this. For the Evercoast team, that means holograms that once took half a day to process can now be rendered in minutes, allowing for innovations like telepresence. So basically taking this and then streaming this to another node where you have a, a, someone's watching it or many people are watching it. Faster data and image processing can also help in the grocery aisle, where augmented reality technologies can provide shoppers with at-a-glance info on allergens. Of course you could have an augmented reality shopping experience today, but you'd probably just be able to look at a single product at a time. 5G isn't just helping shoppers see more clearly, it's giving first responders new insights as well. See-through software by QuakeTech uses thermal imaging and an augmented reality display to help firefighters see through smoke and relay information back to central command. The idea of offering a 5G network which, which gives us that dramatically increased amount of bandwidth, then we can actually fight fire the way we're designed to, which is multiple firefighters, having all those streams going out there at once, having information being sent back to us. At this 5G lab, human creativity and know-how are ushering in a new era of communication. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.